Time now for News Extra here on KNEB. It's brought to you by Gehring Civic Center. Here again, Kevin Mooney. Thank you very much, Dennis. Good morning, everyone. We have a couple of folks from the Scotts Plump Rural Fire Department to talk about their annual soup supper coming up this weekend. Of course, Captain Paul Reisig is here, a veteran of 23 and a half years. I've talked to this guy uh, all of those 23 and a half years, I guarantee you that. And uh, also Carlia Guernsey here. Uh, she's a captain as well, been with the fire department for four years, and we're going to talk to her about a number of things in addition to the soup supper, I think, and let her talk about driving trucks and all that kind of stuff. So welcome, you guys. And uh, Paul, why don't you tell us uh, about the soup supper, a little bit about the times and price and what we're going to be doing. Okay, thank you, Kevin. We are going to be doing our annual soup supper. We've been doing that the last 20 years just about. We like to get together with our patrons. We like to have them come in once in a while, meet us, and at the same time, have a good time. So we're having our annual soup supper Saturday, November 10th, 5 to 8 p.m. at the station down at 1717 East 15th Street in Scotts Bluff. Uh, the admission $6, and kids and six and under are free. It's uh, all you can eat. It's going to be three different kinds of soups with uh, lots of good desserts and bread. And uh, there's 50-50 raffle plus other raffles for some other prizes. Some are very nice ones like a Case IH uh, Precision 1568 toy tractor that's really nice. And, and we've got an on-the-job uh, air compressor, you know, that you can pack into that. There's tool kits, uh, various other things. All right, sounds pretty good. Carlia, I know you're uh, helping out with cooking some of these soups, so uh, tell us uh, what kind of soup we're talking about here. So one of the soups we have is a chili, which we almost always have chili as right. long as I've been on the department anyway. And then we also have a vegetable beef soup, and we're going to try something different this year with the potato bacon soup. All right. And you and your, uh, what, your sister are mm-hmm. going to uh, do one of those soups? We're doing the vegetable beef. Vegetable beef, huh? Yep. I got told that I, I uh, get to make my dad's soup. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Ali must have taught you well, right? That he did. That, not just with cooking, but with also driving trucks, which Paul seems to think I'm a pretty good driver. So. That's, that's what I hear. He says you're a really good driver. So uh, you learned it from, uh, what, going out and... Uh, Cutting firewood. Cutting firewood. Yep. And he says you're good with a chainsaw, too. That I am. I actually did get to utilize some of that skill this summer, so that was actually nice to see how my past experiences help out on the department. Yep, I'm sure it does. So uh, that's very good. So uh, what are you guys going to use these uh, proceeds for? I know you usually have something that's uh, going on at the fire department that you need. Well, over the year, we've used these donations from the soup suppers, pancake feeds, and things like that. We've used quite a bit of them for things like the tables and chairs. We're going to be sitting on that, the soup supper. We've also bought in the past a couple of chainsaws to help the department out with. Uh, I think we're looking at right now possibly purchasing a couple of stabilization rams that can be used in extrication of an automobile that's upset or whatever. So we we roll this money back to the community also. Yeah. All right. Very good. We'll take a break, talk more about the Soup Supper right after this. Ask anyone that has hosted an event at the Gearing Civic Center, and they will tell you that our staff is courteous and efficient. The Gearing Civic Center has hosted close to 2 million exhilarated guests in over 25 years. Our caterer, The Meat Shop, has 35 years of cooking experience. Go ahead and enjoy yourself. Call 436-6888 or visit GearingCivicCenter.com. Like us on Facebook. Talk about experience. Back on News Extra this morning, we're talking about the Scotts Bluff Rural Fire Department Annual Soup Supper going on uh, this coming Saturday, 5 to 8 p.m. over at the Fire Hall on 15th Street. You guys know where it is, right off of 21st Avenue, just to the uh, north and uh, of the uh, Sugar Factory. And the admission is $6, kids 6 and under free. We have Captain Paul Reisig here, also Captain Carlia Guernsey. So you guys, uh, like we said, you're going to have raffles, 50-50s, uh, some silent auction. Uh, Paul mentioned some of the items. You'll have some smaller ones as so well, So we also right? have some gift certificates to local restaurants. I know we have Chili's. I, wanna, I know we have Renza. Um, we also have some T-shirts. 
So some nice little prizes okay. to go along with the nicer, bigger ones. But all right, it's all you can eat, so you can go back for seconds. Yes, and we actually do have some desserts. Some of the firefighters are going to donate some of the desserts. Those are usually how we get those brought in. Um, I know someone's making some pies. He said pumpkin pies. And then I know my sister usually makes a couple of desserts. Her desserts are amazing. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. So you're a nurse. And uh, yeah. tell me why you decided to join the fire department. Who recruited you? And uh, why did you decide this was a good, good thing for you? Well, as a nurse, I enjoy helping people. I like being there for people. And actually, my brother-in-law, who is the assistant chief, he is the one who recruited me to join the Scottsville for Old Department. Okay. And obviously, you've made it up the ladder pretty good. You're <laughs> a captain already. Yeah. So that's good. <laughs> All right. Very good. And Paul, you uh, 23 and a half years. I just want to thank you here publicly on the air because I've you've helped me out a lot with uh, covering fires that uh, you guys have been on over the uh, time you've been with the fire department. You've always been pretty much the media guy to go to, and uh, I appreciate that, first of all. And uh, you're now retired from farming, so spending a lot more time at the fire department, huh? That's true. I have put some more fire department time in this year. And over the years, Kevin, I want to thank you, too. I've enjoyed working with you throughout the years. Uh, it's just been great uh, working with KOLT News Media. Um, we've we've had a lot of things to talk over in those 23 and a half years. I, I'm hoping I can stay for a few more years, make 25 or more, you know. Yeah. My health is good so far, and I can still drive a truck. Maybe not quite as good as Carlia, though, but we're trying to stay with her. All right, good deal. All right, well, we appreciate you guys coming in again. Scott Bluff Rural Fire Department. Annual soup supper coming up this Saturday, 5 to 8 p.m. It's over at the fire hall on uh, 15th Street. And uh, uh, $6 to get in. Kids six and under are free. They got a lot of fun things to do. Right? So, we thank Paul Rising and Carly Guernsey for coming in. Thanks, guys.